doing the vow. Pastor Imam, Chairman, Chairman, you are most welcome. Give us the word of God. It's the noise 
We are not going like people of New Bagalo want to cut this one. Hallelujah. People just moving in. That's not it. It's not moving in. It's actually God in it. And if you want your, your marriage to be strong, then to be like them to remember those years. You need to know that God has to be part of your family. If God is out of your family, you are not in the jurisdiction of blessing. That's why your children will be in trouble. That's why you will be in trouble. Everything you touch, there's no blessing on it. Because institution of marriage is actually from God. God first, when we read this verse, He created man, Adam. And He said it's not good for Adam to be alone. And what He did, He put Adam to sleep. I want to tell, tell every man in this room and the young children, and those who are anticipating tomorrow, you need to sleep. Hallelujah. If you want a wife that is from God, sleep. If you don't sleep, you will choose your wife yourself. Hallelujah. And then, people say, as a wife, guess what they see? Hallelujah. That's, that's, that's not true. That's wrong because you chose it yourself. If it's bad, you stuck with it. If it's good, you are, it's yours. Did you hear? There's a statement that says, their marriage is made in heaven. There's a statement saying like this, says, their marriage, their marriage is made in heaven. So this statement actually tells that marriage that is good, it looks like it's made in heaven. Your marriage is made in heaven. That's why there is a blessing. That's why you are happy. And God told you to do that. And you're going to be something so far. And it's amazing for us that today, I want to say, those who are looking at themselves that their marriage is not successful, why? Because you chose it yourself. You didn't even initiate or ask permission from your God. You didn't even ask the wife of God. That's why you jump in from place to place. There's no rest. Hallelujah. The rest is only in God. And I'm telling you, as I say, young people, you want a wife? A wife. I mean, I'm not talking about woman. There are so many women for women. The Bible says in, in, in Proverbs 18, 22, he who finds a wife, finds a good day and obtain favor from the Lord. Hallelujah. Favor from the Lord. So many young people are looking for women. But you will you find wrong woman. Because God is not in it. My dear brothers and sisters, we want the right marriage. There is no other lifestyle that we're going to be. Children of Israel, they moved through the desert for years. And they messed up with the wrong people. I call them Hittites, parasites, and all those. Names. And God told the children of Israel to destroy them all and not marry from them. Why? Because if you mix the DNA of your family, you will be in trouble. We children today, we have a problem. Because we mix our DNA with so many things, we get to marry. Everywhere we go, we mix ourselves. That's why you don't know the generational curses that is coming to your family. You don't have to mix your DNA. It is dangerous. And this is the world we're living in today. There's processed food. There's so many things now being changed. Even your food, your fruits you're eating, they're changing. 
is something else. They change the, this DNA of animals. They're mixing animals. Is that a good thing? No. This is a problem. Our children don't know so many young people. My advice to you, you want to marry, please marry a woman or a girl that knows God. The Bible says those who fear God, they deserve to be blessed or praised. Proverbs 31, verse 30. A woman that fears God deserves to be praised, deserves to be respected. Hallelujah. Men, our family is in trouble. Why? Because so many men are out of their positions. I'm asking every man in this room that if you are not in your position as men, father, priest, king in the house, you better do it today. It's time today. If you are out of position, that means you are not in line with God. The Bible says he created men first. And he gave responsibility to men. And he came every time fellowship with them. And when they messed up, they ran away hiding. And that is what our men are doing today. They are hiding. They don't want to come to God. Why? Because they see. They see. So for you to get blessing, you, we as men, to come to our position, to come to God, and now declare the commitment to be His creator. And then all the authority that is given to you with blessings. And when you speak blessing, blessing will go to your children <coughs> and your wife. And this is a system that God's system. We don't have to follow the system of the world. And we are looking today. Things are wrong. People, identity crisis. People don't know their right hand from left. You know something's wrong, but they say it's right. Because we talk politics. Rights of the people. That's not the law, that's not for children of God. If you're Christian, Christians are decent people. The word Christian is decent people, the followers of God, the followers of Jesus Christ. Then you need to follow the words of the Bible. Hallelujah. Amen. It is hard. But today, our children running away. With boyfriends, girlfriends, but this is not the way. Those who are here, young, I want to tell you, there's no something called test. There's no something called living together or common law. That's the system that we are getting in. Common law is not from God. There's no test. You're not a car to be tested. To live together since until we know each other. That's sin. And every child is born in that relationship. It's illegal. Hallelujah. I know I'm touching toes, but it is reality. It is reality. You need to be in the right place. You need to find right relationship. And those be endorsed by God and endorsed by your parents. You can't just go marry and come out and tell your parents, I got married, which is not right. You didn't have consent for your parents, endorsement, you don't have a blessing. That's why you get there. 
and kicked out from home, and now you're in trouble. Please, the only thing that keeps your life together is God, the triangle. Triangle. You and your wife and God. When there is a problem, you all run to God. And God is going to fix it for you. That voice is not from God. Hallelujah. <laughs> marriage, biblical marriage is for life. When you make a commitment, that's forever. The Bible says, until death do us part. Hallelujah. And I'm thankful that we will continue to remind everyone to do the same thing. Maybe we keep a day to them. Because we want to come back to our sense. We want to come back home to receive the blessings that God made for us. Hallelujah. Amen. God is always with us. But we are running from Him. That's why we got self control. You know, children of Israel, every time they go in trouble because they were out in the presence of the Lord. But when they come back, the blessings come back. And they keep moving until generation finish. Why? Because they always go out. Brothers and sisters. Um, myself, my wife, and the scene that we are in, when it is, so many children are killing each other. We bury so many young people. Because they're drunk. Drugs. How did we get there? Because we don't have a structure. A strong family structure. Children just getting out. They're going. The Bible says you leave the home of your parents and go claim or join your wife. It's not leaving out to live by yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. Boys. When you leave out, you will get broke. Why don't you live with your parents? You're not paying rent. And save this money. Save some money so that you will build the house that your wife will come to. Men are supposed to have a place first before anything else. And your wife is going to come and join you. Hallelujah. You are not going to come and run in, both of you running. And you didn't finish your school. Your job now, sleep, is to go, prepare yourself, study, finish your education. And ladies, you are blessed. Because God is preparing your husband. While God is preparing your husband, you too prepare yourself. Because when you come, the Bible says you're coming with music. You're coming with noise. You're coming with... Will you share it? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> A lot of stuff coming with you. And when you go to that house, you are blessed. You're coming to change something in that home. Hallelujah. But now, we bless Canada. Because Canada is a good place. So many singles in this city, in this country. But God has welfare for them. If not welfare, they will be in trouble. Very big problem. Why this happened? Because people say we got in a wrong relationship. Man, we're not supposed to be for our children, our, our wives. Why? Because this is ourselves. They were created from us. Hallelujah. It's your rib, it's a part of your body. If you beat them, you beat yourself. If you abuse them, you abuse yourself. The only person that have two women, Man and woman is man. Woman doesn't have men in them. Hallelujah. 
So many bad people hate wives because they don't produce boys. Because they don't study, they don't know. They blame women. And that's why they go marry another woman, because there's no boy from this one. And they forgot they are the problem. Hallelujah. You are the one supposed to produce boy. It's not active because men only have the X and Y. If the X is fast, it will get the first step. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, this is the reality. We fight in things that we're not supposed to fight. Love of money. Destroy of power. Greediness. Pride. Selfishness. It's all destruction. My brother, thank you for this day. You remind us to start off. As we remember this day, we know that there's so much struggle. You come all the way here. It's not easy. Because the Bible doesn't say that it's easy. The Bible says, you are a brand new wife and a brand new time and a brand new life. So you have to know each other day after day. You fight, this is a different angle and different face. We have two faces. Hallelujah. Boys have two faces too. So when you come together, then you will see the other faces. The angry face, the ugly face. But in the beginning, you don't know those things. So God wants you to experience those things. So that how you will solve it, it will help you move on. And then meet the past. And I want to tell men, those women, created by God. And God made them. So now, God become your father in law. Do you know that? Hallelujah. Amen. God become your father in law. So now, when you go back to heaven, he's going to ask you, when you to your wife, the wife of your youth, that's your wife. God is going to ask. I'm asking the families here, if you have never invited God in your family, this is a reminder for you. The family is God, wife, and husband. Three. In the Bible, you will see three everywhere. Three. That's the power. If God is out from your family, please make it possible. Invite God. You don't have to make big occasion like this. Just invite pastor. Come to the church and they bless you. Welcome God in that family. And God is going to bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. God loves us so much. But we love the world more. That's why we're in trouble. We're going to pray for the family. And all the families here. And I love my wife. Can you come please pray for the family? You are the
to reaffirm your marriage. In front of all these people, the community of faith, and in front of pastors, and also in front of your children. It is a commitment that we made a long time ago, and you are coming again to commit yourself to each other. And now I can invite you to stand up, Mary Peter. To renew your promise.
and for this way, I will look at my husband. Yes. Sin Mary and Peter exchange their rings and declare their love and commitment to each other. I am pleased and honored to say that Mary and Peter are husband and wife.
Rabba na uo kwez. Arobu sale. Arobu sale. God is good. The good thing God has done to our life, to my family. Leo la mara bana kana kunta mwa wangu zidamu zidapo. Lakini na wangu falela by the grace of God. Alfeno with Nasha and I met the accident on time. I have a bad accident, but God saved me. I failed with a touch and I had a problem in my heart. I admitted to hospital. I had the shock for the little bit I because my heart lose control. Medication cannot help me. The only thing can save my life to have the shock to stop my heart. I failed. Well, at Matasha, I was in the hospital. I had a diabetes and high blood pressure. I've been in coma for one day. Maybe some of people didn't know, some of people they didn't know what's going on. But God saved my life. The same I failed in 2012, I had an accident with my two boys. But God saved me. And when I was someone, again, I had an accident. The Rabbi was a very wonderful time. I said, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to be a good one. 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 Thank you. My plan, me and my husband today, is supposed to be as a thank you to God. And then we find out we are entering to 16 years of investment. And again, today is going to be our continuation. That's why we done everything, not to us, not to my family, not to my family of someone who died, but to God. To God, who was more me of Anastasia and Motu, the Shah Vitana. بتاريوم بتعليلا ليس لنا يا رب ليس لنا يا رب not to us but to your name Father give glory we want to give glory to our Father because he done a lot to our family especially to my life we don't care how much it's causing us because God has blessed us and he deserves to have a Glory, because we are here for Him. I just want to say thank you, God, for your goodness. Thank you, God, for your protection. God, thank you, God, for everyone is here today for my family. And I wish you could have a very good time. But the river, I like it. And as in the running of God, now Allah will be stahil to show you the way. خلينا نقوم فوق بعض، خلينا نسافر، ما مصرية أنت وين؟ ما مصرية، خلينا نسافر كلنا مع بعض، أنا بشوف العالم.
precious sacred book, Jesus, we ask for your touch. Holy Spirit, protect this from those who would speak against him. God, give him strength in the battle. God, help him be that great warrior. Let new endurance come to you. And know that you're always there here and inside. Hallelujah. And Father, for the tender heart, and yet such a fire. God, I thank you for the prophetic being loose, a prophetic intercessor warrior, Father. We thank you for it. Hallelujah. We should talk about that you'll have a greater revelation and understanding of the things you've seen in the Spirit, that you'll guide them with all wisdom. With all wisdom and strength and authority. Hear not, God. Hear not, He's heard and heard. He's heard and heard. He's heard and heard. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as we all stretch our hands towards God, we speak divine protection over them. Hallelujah. And for all those called alongside, that they be wise to those called alongside. That those who are not called there, but called to trouble, we pull them out already. And Father, we thank you for a good team coming alongside, appointed to walk with them. God, I thank you for a great team coming around them. I bless them now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Seal this work with your Holy Spirit this day to your own. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's nowhere to put it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> She's a little drunk and the Holy Ghost or needing water. <laughs> That's all right. The anointing's just all over her. She'll pull cover. That's all right. It's okay, Mary. It's all right. This is the best part. It's the best part. Thank you. She'll pull toll, Rebecca. Thank you, Jesus. There's a new thing, God. It's a new thing and it's a strong thing. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's more than that. Amen. It's a good
the love to help us. Yes. Father, your word says that on the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and he broke it. And God, many in this room here today have been through so many struggles, but the cross is the place of healing. The cross is the place where we come to and then rise up. And as we remember and let this bread be sanctified, let the breaking of the bread bring revelation. Let it bring a healing this night as it's received. And as we do this in remembrance of all the, the promises that have been committed before you, Jesus, we lift up this bread and this cup before you. And as the blood that was shed of Jesus Christ, we recall it with the drinking of the cup today. That it will bring honor to the blood that was shed for every one of us. That we will honor the work of it. That restoration, healing, and forgiveness flows so freely. And we thank you for it. And we bless this offering today before you, holy God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.
because you deserve it. Father, we bless everyone, bless the food, bless our gathering. Father, fill our heart with joy and peace. Father, we magnify your name. We thank you for everyone that have come here to fellowship with you, Jehovah. Bless them. Father, we thank you. We give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all. Amen. The Bible is our Lord and Savior. God bless you.